Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadogs to all Bob Built for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News update from SeaWorld San Diego. Now before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now guys, let's get into this update. So this is all about 2021 season and the rumoured uh, coaster on the Wild Arctic site. We've had an official development on that rumoured project. And we can now officially confirm that Wild Arctic is set to close right in January 2020, January 10th, 2020. Now we do have an official statement uh, from SeaWorld San Diego on this closure. And the statement uh, from SeaWorld San Diego themselves reads as follows. It's the final flight. Take one last run on Wild Arctic Simulator before we say farewell on January 10th, 2020. Annual pass members, find out how you can head to the front of the line on or before December 31st with a free single-use quick queue. P.S. Your favourite Wild Arctic friends, belugas, walruses and seals will remain available for visits throughout the ride closure and beyond. So that official statement came from SeaWorld San Diego. Uh, you saw on your screen there a bit of a tribute there with the years. Um, it's, I mean, this pretty much confirms the coaster, doesn't it? I mean, uh, this pretty much confirms we're going to get this family launch uh, coaster launching through the tundras and the Arctic. Um, especially with the bit about the animals staying. We knew the animals were going to stay in the plans for the rumoured coaster. Um, so I think it's very, very clear that we're going to be seeing... Uh, this new coaster coming to the park in 2021. Now, this is mad, don't forget, because, of course, you had Electric Eel, then you had Tidal Twister, then you've got Emperor, which is the B&M Dive Coaster coming next year, and then the year after, we've got this rumoured Intamin Family Launch Coaster, so uh, on the same length as Waybreaker at SeaWorld San Antonio. So, you know, we've got a, a, a pretty good streak here of new coasters for San Diego. And I think they're really investing to make this park on tap with the rest of the parks in California. Because don't forget, in California, you've got the original Disneyland parks. Um, you know, and you've also got Six Flags Magic Mountains, Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. They're doing coaster after coaster at the minute. So, you know, Seattle San Diego's really got to keep up to par with the rest of the parks in the state. And investing in another coaster... Uh, not just next year, but the year after that, I think is a really good move. Obviously, we don't have confirmation it's going to be a new coast for 2021, but of course, these parks aren't going to confirm it yet. Um, so, I think we just have to keep our eyes peeled for any intermittent track on site, either in the summer next year, or at some point next year, towards the end of next year, we're going to see track going up for this. Um, obviously, we're going to keep real close tabs on this project, um, as soon as possible but like I said Wild Arctic closing January 10th 2020 uh, make sure you single pass holders uh, annual pass holders if you get to the front of the, make sure you get to the front of the line and or before December 31st for that free single queue pass um, you know it's, it's a good deal I would take it personally uh, so thank you very much for watching this theme park news update on the closure of Wild Arctic the confirmed closure of Wild Arctic at San Diego I think we're on tap for this 2021 coaster. Make sure you share your thoughts in the comments down below. But for now, guys, thank you very, very much. My name is Coach Shell, Kill in the Coast Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day, friends.